How's it going, guys? This is Indie Game Spotlight Episode 20, and this is Cranky Cat. Cranky Cat is a puzzle game which looks very similar to Hexic, and it's developed by March Entertainment. And I believe March Entertainment is a Canadian studio from Toronto, which means they're only two hours away from me. They've graciously given me a review copy for my channel and for the gaming site I write for. So without further ado, Indie Game Spotlight, Cranky Cat. Wait, what? Okay, let me see here. Oh, I have to... Rotate it, so... Okay. I lined three light-colored spheres to burst them. Also, it's nothing like Hexic. Okay. Oh. Take that. Onwards. Ah. Yes. Okay, I'm getting the hang of this a little bit. Game is hard. My mouse doesn't move that fast. Right. Next. Green source spheres require two collisions. Okay. Fire up the machine. Yeah. This game probably can probably get really addicting. I know the developers might try out puzzle mode. Uh which I don't actually know how to do. So we're just playing the story. Oh. There we go. And then just the red. I don't know. I really like this game aesthetically. It's really cool. Ah, here we go. Puzzle mode, like they're saying, to what you should play. Okay, cool. I'm so sorry, guys. I had to reply to something. Okay, so let's play puzzle mode. One day, our old friend Cranky was enjoying some tea and biscuits. Upon dunking his biscuit into the tea, it soon became a soggy, disintegrated mess. This decidedly undignified development naturally sent him into fits of blind rage. A radical solution would be needed. Really pissed off cat. The Grapes of Wrath. <laughs> Yay! Shit. Oh. So apparently if you get one orb on the wrong thing, it's you have to instantly start up start over. That's insane. Whoa. The hell am I supposed to do here?
Okay. God damn it. Sad part is this is probably pathetically easy too. Yeah! So not much I can show you guys, but this is Cranky Cat. It's essentially just a puzzle game. It's actually really fun. I don't see why some people are giving it such bad reviews, from like, at least from what I've seen. I've seen some good, I've seen some bad. It's mixed. Really love this game. I definitely recommend it. It's on Steam. It's cheap. Get this game. And support Canadian developers. Alright guys, allons-y.